voicemail. All right, but you were a former chairman and chief executive of Fox TV stations. Right. Um, Fox News Channel was launched in 1996, not by you, because apparently you didn't have the right vision for it. <laughs> And, you know, a lot of criticism now uh, about Fox News because uh, people say it parades, you know, opinion and comment masquerading as fact and that it, you know, panders to people's well, prejudices and so on. Right. Well, it, it's, I mean, it, that is still right, going on. Right. But, but it, well, no, it was, you see, you're, you're quoting what the commercial rivals of Fox News say and then, then, then implying that it's actually a fact. And the fact is, if you, and I live most of my time in New York, and I watch the news bulletins there, that Fox is a devotedly Trumpian operation in every way it supports him. I personally don't agree with that. I think that the President of the United States is some kind of a freak. But the fact is... I'm sure he would not accept that description of him as a freak, but anyway... But I'm happy to argue with him. But, but at the same time, while that's happening, if you watch CNN, they are as, as um, fiercely anti-Trump as Fox is fiercely pro-Trump. And you can look at it and you can decide who, who you believe more, but I find it difficult in New York now compared with here in London where you can sit down and listen to news, watch news, and you get a proper coherent balance of information. Because of Trump, you, can't, you don't get that from... from You're saying that um, I'm just uh, telling you or parroting what uh, critics of Fox yes. News say. But actually, I want to let you know what um, U.S. Army Lieutenant Colonel Ralph Fe Peters, who served as a military analyst for some time for Fox News, and he left. Yes. So he was actually a contributor, and he said he felt compelled to explain his departure. That was in March this year. He says, today I feel Fox News is fostering corrosive and unjustified paranoia yes. among viewers. Yes. That is... Somebody who contributes to Fox News. Who contributed, who, yes. Yes, who contributed and yes. left. And, and, that, and he feels that it's degenerated, he says, from providing a legitimate and much-needed outlet for conservative voices to morphing into a mere propaganda machine for a destructive and ethically ruinous administration. Yes. So, yes, of course, yes. it there's is a, a pro-Trump... That's a very, bent. very subjective statement. It's very colourful uh, and very subjective. But I just use and it because it wasn't, he wasn't just a critic of... It, you know, it, it isn't just the left of centre critics of Fox News who were saying that. Sure. I mean, I, I can spend all night with you defending Rupert Murdoch, but it isn't really uh, my, what I want to do, because I, because I can, in talking about Rupert, uh, cite many failings and But no, it's just that you were chairman and chief executive of Fox TV station, so it's just this... Uh, yes, but that was longer. Thing. I mean, right. But, yeah. I, I, but that, for, for that view, you could go online, uh, on social media, and hear many counter views. Uh, I don't think... He, he, I think a lot of what he says has some, has some value, but I don't think that it's, it's, not, a, it's not an objective... Uh, loathing Fox News and loving CNN is not an objective standpoint because they both do the same except the opposite. People are increasingly getting their news not from newspapers but from other sources as you said so uh, do you accept that you have been part of a dying industry and that today uh, we're talking about Rupert Murdoch but actually it's not Rupert Murdoch who matters as much now it's Mark Zuckerberg Facebook. Well I, I, I think I think there is a dramatic atomization of news and information taking place and that you can sit now uh, here with a laptop and every country in the world that sees this they can you can go to their newspapers you can check what people think what the Australians think about Japan China thinks about North Korea you can do all of those things uh, whereas once upon a time you'd get the evening bulletin uh, before breakfast TV even before cable channels now you can basically sit and you have in the palm of your hand infinity and that may be destroying the business models of Fox and the business models of the big newspapers, but it is, from the point of view of people like us, uh, as, as consumers, fantastic. Les Hinton, thank you very much indeed for it's coming on Hard Talk. Thanks for having me. Thank you. Thank you.